friends these days lot of people have taken loan from banks for car or flats etc and sometimes they would like to calculate the impact of prepayment or part payment when they want to do part payment or, or what will be the impact they want to see so here today we will learn how we can create a loan calculator in ms excel microsoft excel it is very easy so let us see first of all uh, i will uh, show you a loan calculator i have already created then we will see how we can create it what formulas uh, we will use there so this is the loan calculator i have created and uh, here this is the principal amount rate of interest principal amount rate of interest and emi so you have to supply only these three things to this loan calculator and it will automatically give you these values uh, number of EMIs, number of total EMIs you have to pay, the total interest paid and the total amount paid. So uh, let us see, suppose here I will change the rate of interest and it will automatically change the number of EMI, total interest paid and total amount paid. So you can see here you can see here uh, that this is the 60 in the 16th EMI uh, that your loan will end so now we will try to create this uh, on a new sheet So what will you do, uh, oh, let me copy this, it will be easy, yeah. so this is our main, now now we can copy these headings also this will save time of typing heading so now we can start now okay so how we uh, now we have to apply formulas excel formulas on this we will increase this little bit so that uh, the mobile users uh, also can see this easily okay so here the serial numbers it doesn't matter um, we can extend this okay so from here now we have to calculate the interest part the first thing is the interest part so uh, what will we do uh, the formula equal to and reference of the principal amount multiplied by the rate of interest divided by 12 divided by 100 this will be the formula to calculate the interest after that we have to find out 
what will be the principal amount in our first EMI. So we have to deduct the interest from the EMI amount and this is it. So this is the formula. Okay. These are the formulas. Now we have to calculate what is the outstanding principal. So outstanding principal is equal to the our original principal amount minus principal paid. So this is it. We can uh, do it. We can round it. So here you this is the round comma is two round the formula comma two it will give you the result rounded up to the two places of decimals so this is the round function you can use it at other places as well so this is the formula now again we have to calculate the interest so now the interest will be charged on the outstanding principal not the principal amount taken originally so now this multiplied by the rate of interest multiplied sorry divided by divided by 12 divided by 100 so this will be the formula and again uh, here what we have to do we have to uh, yes uh, we have to uh, we have done one mistake here we did not taken uh, part payment into the consideration in this formula so if you don't want to take the part payment in consideration then it is okay otherwise we have to change this formula minus d8 d8 so this is the formula okay so again the principal paid is equal to emi amount minus interest so this is the formula again outstanding principal uh, this formula will also change here because earlier uh, we took into consideration the B3. B3 is the original principal amount but now we have to calculate this. This is was the outstanding principal minus this is the principal paid minus the part payment. So this will give us the outstanding principal. Okay, so now this is the formula we have done, but we have to uh, copy this formula, the same formula to the rows below this uh, to calculate for other months. But the thing is that there is one change we have to do, otherwise. Uh, let us see what will happen if we copy it like this yeah there is some problem right okay so what is the problem you will see the thing is that in this formula b4 b4 is the rate of interest so this is the fixed so we have to apply the dollar the dollar on this formula so Now it will work fine. This time it will work. Uh, here also we have to check, but yeah, in this formula B5 is fixed. So for B5 also we have to do to, this is to fix the reference. When we copy the formula, the reference will not change. Now we will copy this formula and see what will happen ok so you can see that it is calculating the interest ok here 
uh, it is coming to the three points, five points, etc. So the again thing, we have to apply the round formula. We will round it to the two point of decimals. Okay, here also we will round it to two point of decimals. And again, we copy the same formula to the below cells, right? So it is calculating, but there is a problem that the in the line number sixteen we see that the principal outstanding principal become negative. So we have to adjust this formula. so that it does not go for the negative calculation so how we can do this we can do a little change here the change is here we have to check if this value we will check what formula we applied here we can copy this formula here also to save the time i will show the formula and then we will do the round off okay we will create the formula here itself so the thing is that the outstanding principal plus interest concentrate if the outstanding principal and interest outstanding uh, principal plus interest amount is less than the emi amount then we have to adjust it for that right now we will write the formula here so we will use here if if the sum of outstanding principal plus the interest is less than the emi amount then what will happen then we will show uh, in principal pay the outstanding principal only it means this value otherwise otherwise we will show otherwise we will show as it is as we are showing earlier means the emi amount emi amount dollar b dollar 5 minus the interest paid on for that month means b9 so this is the formula and we have to round it for up to two places so what we will do we will keep round and this and this is the so now we can copy this mm. okay the problem is because we did not fix the b5 so for b5 we have to place the dollar values in front of b5 here that is the reason of this error so now you can see it is coming fine we can add this and you will get the our original amount okay 
so now number of emis so it is very easy now to calculate is equal to count if count if count if range so range we will give it from here here we can give the range to a long values formula we did not copy it to that extent but we have to copy it to the bigger number comma greater than 0 so here you learn the use of count if formula as well count if b8 to b261 is greater than 0 so number of emi become 16 here we will see is it right oh yes right after 16 there is no emi in on the 16th emi our loan will be completed it will be fully paid so now we have to uh, use the sum if formula and the again the same thing or we can copy the formula here and then mm, b8 what is the range and sum if you can see the formula uh, this is the formula and it is showing the total interest paid so the total amount paid is equal to interest plus the principal borrower. So this we can so now your loan calculator is complete and now what we can do we can increase or decrease the values. Sorry, yeah. one lakh. If you take a loan of one lakh at the rate of nine point six five, and your EMI amount is this, then it will be paid in six EMIs. So you can adjust the EMI amount as well, and accordingly you will get the values here. So this is the calculator we have done with this calculator. You can change the three uh, all uh, you can change only these three values and in uh, and you will get uh, that all calculation done automatically so friends uh, this is all for today this is the loan calculator how you can create a loan calculator, simple loan calculator in Excel. Yeah, one thing I forget. If you do a part payment of 10,000, what will be the impact? You can see it here, all the calculations changes. So, what we you can do, you can see the differences. Suppose this is the part payment done. So, uh, this is the to check this. Uh, I will note down six nine three seven is the interest I have to pay if I made a part payment and if not done, then this is the interest. So, what is the difference? I can calculate this. Yeah. So, the part payment of ten thousand. And uh, during the first uh, installment, saves me 637. So, likewise, you can calculate. Okay, thank you. Please subscribe my channel for more Excel videos and learn Excel with interest. Thank you. Thank you, friends.